This is a full walkthrough for all of the Cupboards and Drawers DLC solutions. We all will also be grabbing all of the level specific achievements slash trophies. As we hop in, I want to recommend that you play with a mouse as all of the interactions in the game have to do with clicking, holding, and dragging objects, all of which is easier to do with a mouse. There will be timestamps in the description if there's a specific level you are stuck on, and with that, as we start the first level, we just need to fit the clocks into the cupboard, paying attention to designs and matching some of the clock hands. For level 2, we just need to fit all of the items inside of this box. Make sure that you pay attention to the fact that there is both a left and a right side that you need to fill up with all of the items, and I do mean all of the items, including even the pencil shavings. For level 3 we have our first achievement slash trophy to go for. So for this one first we want to put all of the caps onto the correct pens and then you can sort them into the box however you like. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to take all of the caps off and move them one pen to the left or one pen to the right whichever you feel like doing. Basically what we need to do is get one of the caps onto one of the other pens without having any of the pens share the same cap as the pen that their cap is on, if that makes sense. So basically, all of the pens have to have the incorrect cap, but they can't be sharing caps with a pen that they have the cap of. I have reset after getting that achievement slash trophy, put the caps back on the pens, and now we're going to sort them based on the cap metal bits. So we want from the left to the right for the cap metal piece to move from the left to the right across all of them. So just sort them in this order for our first of four solutions here on this level.
For solution number two, we need to put their caps on once again, and then we want to sort them in the box based on their pointiness. So from left to right, we want to go from the pointiest to the dullest. For solution number three, we're going to once again put all the caps on, and then we want to sort them based on their cap size, going from the largest cap on the left all the way to the smallest cap on the right. And our fourth and final solution on this level, once again, we're going to put the pen caps on, and then we want to sort them based on the gold rings around each of the pens, so from one all the way up through the rest of the numbers, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For level 4, you just need to organize the flowers into their imprints in the book. This is going to take a little bit of time, just keep in mind though that there are a couple of extra flower petals and stuff that are missing from some of the flowers that you can find around the area, so make sure that you're picking those up and adding them as well. For level 5, we just need to organize everything under this sink so that they fit perfectly without overlapping. Level 6 is our first pet the cat level. All you need to do is click on the cat in order to pet it. However, there is an achievement slash trophy for waiting 30 seconds before petting the cat, so make sure that you get that done as well to pop that. For level 7, we have yet another achievement slash trophy to get, and this one's a little bit wacky. So basically what we need to do is stack everything on top of each other so that we complete a sandwich with all of the food items. So first off we're going to start with stacking the trays and the most important thing here is that you stack the smallest tray on top so that's the one that we're going to be stacking the sandwich on. Basically this makes it so that all of the items have to stack in this very small area they don't have room to move around and you'll be able to stack everything here for your achievement slash trophy.
Now with that done, I've gone ahead and reset the level, and from here we can actually complete the level the proper way. So you want to use the center circle of the tray, the main tray, in order to position all of the other trays around, and then fit all the food properly on those trays. Level 8 is a pegboard and all you need to do is position all of the items on the pegboard perfectly without overlapping. For level 9 you need to organize the two drawers. There is a second drawer under this one, however I would recommend trying to kind of focus on the first one, completing the first one first, and then moving on to the second one. Just keep in mind though that items for the first one can be found in the second drawer, and items for the second drawer can be found in the first drawer.
For level 10, you need to fit everything into this cupboard perfectly without any overlapping. You'll also want to pay special attention to some of the designs on some of these items as they need to match up as well. Level 11 is another pegboard that you need to put everything on perfectly, so just go ahead and arrange them without any overlapping. For level 12, we have another fun achievement to do, and for this one, we need to stack all of the cans on top of each other, as I'm doing here. However, you'll notice that it starts to go off the screen, so what you actually need to do is pick up the whole stack without dropping it like I just did. So just pick them up carefully, and then stack them on the bottom one, and just keep on doing this until you have stacked every single can in the level for your achievement slash trophy. Now I've reset the level and we can go ahead and complete it. Once again, all you need to do is fill the cupboard with everything perfectly without any overlapping. So just follow along with what I do and also pay special attention to the cans as they can be a little bit finicky and it'll look like you have completed the level, but they aren't like perfectly matched up. So you may need to touch them a little bit in order to get them in the right spots.
Level 13 is another Pet the Cat level, so all you need to do is pet the cat after it completes its animation, and you'll be on to the next level. Level 14 is another level where you need to organize a drawer. Luckily for us, this one only has one drawer for us to focus on, so just go ahead and organize all of the items perfectly so that they fit without overlapping. Level 15 has three solutions, and for the first one, we're going to organize the different files so that their tabs go from ascending to descending, basically from the top right corner of the screen down to the bottom left corner of the screen. Our second solution is to organize the files so now that they ascend and descend based on their paper. So from the top left corner down to the bottom right corner, just based on the paper in each of the files. And for the final solution here, we want to organize them based on the color gradient going from blue to blue-green to green-blue and so on. Level 16 is a little puzzle level. You'll have six of these fossil type puzzles to put together. And once you do them, you will complete the level. So I'm just going to skip forward here to when I complete it. So at the start of level 17, the first thing we wanna do is press on the Game Boy button and then play with it a little bit. This will unlock an achievement slash trophy. Then from here we can go along with organizing the cupboard in the back.
level 18 has us organizing a board game set and you'll need to use a bunch of the drawers on here as well in order to sort all of the items on this level. Level 19 has us sorting a tackle box and you'll want to fit everything in here perfectly without overlapping. You also want to pay attention to specific color gradients and patterns for similar item types and that's about it.
Level 20 is another pet the cat level, so just go ahead and pet the cat in order to move on. Level 21 has three solutions, and for the first one here, we're going to place the coins based on the imprints on the actual board itself. So just go ahead and place all of the coins on their imprints in order to complete the first solution. For the second solution, we want to place the coins in rows based on their holes, their designs, and then the blank face ones. So basically all of the holes are going on the top row, all of the ones with designs go in the middle row, and all of the ones that are just blank go on the bottom row. Also you have to keep in mind that the gold cat coin has to go in the center. And for the final solution on this level, we're going to set them up in columns based on color. So all of the same color per column, it doesn't really matter on their positioning or what column you put them in. The only thing that matters is that it's the same color. And once again, the gold cat coin has to go in the middle space. Level 22 has a sorting a sewing a kit. There are a couple drawers on this one as well, so make sure that you get all of the items out of those and stack them correctly in those. Once again, you want to pay attention to some patterns, some colors, that kind of thing throughout in order to complete this level.
Level 23 is basically a bunch of smaller puzzles put into one big puzzle, and so you'll be completing some of these smaller puzzles, like the clocks here in the middle, in order to unlock secret compartments, which will give you other parts for other puzzles that are part of this kind of main puzzle. So you won't have all of the parts that you need here in the beginning, but you will get them throughout as you unlock the secret compartments. Level 24 is yet another pet the cat level, so once again just pet the cat in order to move on. For level 25 you need to put all of the daggers into the box in the order that I do. You can move the box around in order to open the drawers to make them larger in order to fit the larger swords, but basically just get all four of them in in the order that I do to complete this level. For level 26 we need to rearrange the trophies based on the glass images on each of the doors, but before we start rearranging them we actually want to take all of them out and put them on the floor. So remove all of the trophies and put them on the floor for an achievement slash trophy. Then you can go ahead and actually sort them based on their images in order to get them into the right slots.
for level 27 you need to get all of these porcelain cats into their correct locations in the box but first you want to go ahead and sort the boxes themselves in order to get them all into kind of the main box and then you can work on the porcelain cats. Level 28 is kind of silly, basically all we need to do is open all of the drawers until we get to the final red drawer and put the peanut in there. The final level consists of three different levels, so we're going to use this key to open up the leftmost lock, and that's going to access the first level here where we just basically need to rebuild this kitchen. Everything will click into place. For the second part of the level, we're going to use the key on the second most lock, and this is going to bring us to a parking lot. We just need to park the cars based on their colors. The order doesn't really matter as long as their colors are across from each other. And for the final one, we want to use the key on the third lock in order to access this kind of rural scene. And we want to use the tree in the middle as our starting point and just kind of build around it in order to complete the scene. This will be the final puzzle of the game as the fourth key will unlock the credits and you will get your final achievement slash trophy for completing this DLC.